Hi, my name is Maria Vogt. I'm a graduate student at the German Center for Integrative Biodiversity Research, IDEF, and the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology. Together with a team of 40 researchers, we wanted to know how Bornean orangutans had been affected by the exploitation of natural resources. So we collected, compiled and analyzed orangutan survey data across the species range from the years 1999 to 2015. Orangutans built nests to sleep in, which are more easily counted in the forest than the animals themselves. We can convert the number of nests into the number of orangutans. And by combining these numbers in a statistical model with maps of factors influencing orangutans, such as climate, forest type and human pressures, we could extrapolate orangutan numbers to areas where we didn't have any observations. And by comparing the estimates for the total range, we found that between 1999 and 2015, more than 100,000 orangutans had been lost. Using deforestation projections, we found that at least another 45,000 could disappear until the year 2050. But how much would this be, more than 100,000 orangutans lost? Imagine one of the biggest football stadiums we have in the world packed to the brim with people. Now replace the people with orangutans. Isn't that a funny sight? But all of those disappeared only in 16 years and the remaining orangutans would only fill the stadium one more time. To get an idea why these dramatic declines might have happened, we compared the maps of orangutan numbers with maps of how the land was used during the study period. We found that in areas with habitat loss, either through conversion to industrial plantations or deforestation, the percentage decline was deepest. But in areas with primary and selectively logged forest, the majority of orangutans occurred. So actually, only around 9% of the orangutans disappeared from areas where forest was lost, whereas around 70% disappeared in areas that were forested. Here, the species is in decline because it is hunted, just like any other edible animal on Borneo. Orangutans are also increasingly killed when their forest habitat is cut down and they are pushed into people's gardens and into plantations. People who encounter them there are scared or angry and resort to killing them. The problem is that orangutans are very slow breeders. Previous research has indicated that a population will probably go extinct even if only one reproductive female per hundred adults is removed per year. And in another study, killing rates have been identified as being as much as three to four times higher than this. These results would explain the high population declines that we saw in Borneo's forest areas. Orangutans have often been described as a highly sensitive species that can survive only in the most pristine ecological conditions. But the more researchers learn about orangutans, the more they find that they are actually resilient and can adapt to new challenges. This means that they can probably survive in more disturbed areas than previously thought. Thus, effective partnerships with logging companies, where the majority of orangutans occur today, and plantations, where the decline is steepest, are essential to curb orangutan loss. Our findings of a loss of more than 100,000 Bornean orangutans in 16 years is dramatic. But we know that this species can be saved. It requires persistence, good collaborations with the authorities, strong support from the local communities, and help from the companies that manage the land. Once forest areas are maintained and protected and the killing is stopped, Bornean orangutan populations can be stabilized. It might even allow them to slowly bounce back and recolonize forest areas where they have once disappeared.